Oh, slow down, Jiang Ling. If Bai Pu finds out about us, what are we going to do? How can she find out? And she's just an illegitimate daughter. How can she compare to you? I just play with her. Kiss me. Pu Tao, I saw Jiang Ling and your elder sister together. They cuddled and went to hotel and they even kissed. Are you really going to listen to your mom and marry this scum? Mom, I'm going to comply with your last wish. I'll marry this man on my 25th birthday to repay him for saving your life. But if he's unkind, don't blame me for being cruel. Who's there? You cheat on me. I won't keep my integrity for this man. Assistant boy. What a coincidence! Mr. Lu is here too. I heard that he's Jiang Lin's uncle. Is that true? Who's there at night? Maybe a blind waiter hit the door. Jiang Lin slept with Bai Liu, then I'll sleep with his uncle. In terms of size, looks, and ability, he's no match for Lu Jiaohe. Are you single, Mr. Lu? Have you had enough today, Bai Pu? I guess so. I've worked for you for three years. I've never heard of you have a woman with you. Rumor goes around. You're impotent. Assistant Bai, what do you want? I just want to test whether you can erect or not. You've got a lot of guts. Are you flirting with me? How do you like the cigarette? Why don't you try it? I don't want to pay for cigarettes. It's also addictive. Then when you stop with me, wouldn't you be afraid of getting addicted? Yes, but you don't cost me anything. Besides. I've admired Mr. Lu for a long time. I, I'm willing, and glad to do it. Bai Pu, do you think I'll still believe your bullshit? You'll be married to my nephew in three months, and now you dare to have an affair with me. I think you've really got a lot of guts. You saw them last night. One is my fiance, the other is my sister. He. That's why you came to me, right? I'm warning you, Bai Pu. Jiang Lin is my nephew. If you try to use me as a revenge tool to get back at them, I will. For what? You don't want to know that. I'm looking forward to it. What's up? Hello, Uncle. Is Bai Pu in the office? I called her, but no one answered. I thought she's your assistant, so I called to check. She's at work. What's up? Oh, it's okay. I'm glad she's at the office. I'll hang up now. I didn't think you'd lie for me. It seems that Uncle 
has feelings for me. I'm warning you, Baipu. Don't call me uncle. You can't just show up at my place anytime, and I'm not someone you can mess with. Hello, Assistant Bai. Hey, Assistant Bai. Your fiancé ordered you flowers. Your fiancé is so good to you. This is Chongchan's financial statements for the previous year. Mr. Lu asked for them early this morning. You're Mr. Lu's only assistant. Please help me out later. Take them to the office. Thank you, Lily. Come in. These are what you asked for, previous year's financial statements. Distribute them. Notify the director of marketing to make an appointment for the conference room this afternoon. Okay. Um, go. Assistant Bai, I'd like to ask you a question. What on earth do you want from me? If I say the pure pleasure in bed, what? Jung Lin can't satisfy you anymore? He's no match for you. There are rumors that Mr. Lu is impotent. The last night... Enough. Okay, Mr. Lu, I'm going to distribute the documents. You're amazing. I love it. Bai Pu, you'd better not play with fire. Were you last night? You stayed out all night. Do you ignore or buy family's rules? Does it have anything to do with you? Besides, you asked me where I went. What about you? What do you mean? You've been unshamed since you were a kid. Now you're going to frame Xiao Liu again. I think last night you were hanging out with the guy. A whore deserved to be an orphan. You guys. Don't deserve to mention my mother. Mom! You there slept me. Who the hell cheated my mother? Who hurt my mother? Don't you know what you've done? How dare you slap my mother, Bai Pu? I'm going to tell Dad to cancel the marriage between you and Zhao Ling. You can't wait to substitute me. You? But I'm sorry. This marriage was determined by my mother. Even if you want it so badly, even if it's rotted in the mud, I won't let you marry him. You! <laughs> Tall. Mom knows that I'm going to die. I care about you the most. You and Zhang Lin have grown up together since childhood. When I was kicked out by the Bai family at the time, I was having a heart attack. If he hadn't sent me to the hospital, I won't survive. He is a good boy. I've got you engaged. The marriage will be held on your birthday next year. I've been entrusted scums with my whole life. I hope you will be happy. Mom. Mom. Mom, wake up. Mom. Mom. You're wrong. All the men are terrible enough. Men. All are just for fun. I am at the Baisha Club, talking about the material supply. Are you free to come over? Yes. I'll be right there. But Mr. Lu, you call me during this time. Is this for business? Or personal means. I tell you again, Bai Pu. It was just an accident. We just have a working relationship. Nothing else. Don't say that for sure, Mr. Lu. Wait and see. I'm 
I'm sorry, I'm late. Hey, put out. You sit here. Mr. Lu. Assistant Bai, come here. Hey, yo, Mr. Lu. Po Tao will be married to your nephew in three months. You are protecting her right now. Even so much fruit here can't stop you talking. Po Tao, look, the love bite on the neck of your boss. I want to know, who had such a fierce sex with him yesterday? Hey, you've been around him the longest, do you know? Sorry, I don't know. Never mind. I've known him for so long, I've never heard of a woman. Ah, you. You accompany him every day. And tonight... It's not a business banquet. He still brought you here. Pu Tao, last night, you had sex with Lu Jiaohe, didn't you? Cheers, let's drink. Mr. Song, don't tease me. Mr. Lu is my uncle. No matter what happens, how can he have affairs with his nephew's wife? I'm his niece-in-law, you know what I mean? You are right. Today, we're here to discuss the new materials of Cheng Chao. Let me toast you first. Oh, well. So the price of the materials for the coming year can lower a little bit? Since Putao said so. Deal. Cheers. Good, Good luck, luck with, with our cooperation. Sorry, I need to go to the toilet. I'm sure we'll cooperate well this time. Baipu. I need to return to the room to talk about the price. You just had a good time. Do you mean I talked to Mr. Song about the price, or I almost admitted I had sex with you last night? Didn't Mr. Lu say there won't be next time? Tell me. Did you break up with Jiang Lin? Mr. Lu really cares. The relationship of you and Jiang Lin don't get me involved. We're all grown-ups. I don't need you to take the responsibility. And last night, you were obviously satisfied, weren't you? We know each other so well. Are you sure you don't want to date with me? Or... You think it's more exciting in this way? Assistant Bai, you've worked with me for three years. I didn't know your true color until now. Your nephew and I have been friends more than a decade. It was only two days ago that I found out he slept with my sister. Do you think in this world, human to human can completely know each other? You did it on purpose. You can't just allow the officials to set the fire and don't allow people to light the lamps, right? Uncle? Hello? Uncle, there will be a family banquet tomorrow. Grandpa wants you back. I want to go back with my girlfriend too. I know you're busy. If you don't want to, I will turn down Grandpa's invitation. Your fiancé? Yeah, you know her. My fiancé is Bai Poo. Okay, I'll be there. Zhaohe, I heard Poo Tao is your assistant. She'll be your nephew's wife. Don't let her suffer at work. Dad, Cheng Chuan Group has always been righteous on business. I won't be biased towards anyone. Grandpa, don't worry. My babe is very capable of working. She's just too busy. She has no time for me. I miss her a lot. <laughs> if I hadn't heard what you said in my sister's bed, I really don't know you're so good at acting. Hu Tao and Zhang Lin have been together for seven years. The wedding will be in three months. Pu Tao, can you tell me what you think? Um, Grandpa, mm. Uncle isn't even married yet. My wedding with Jiang Lin is ahead of Uncle's. Isn't it inappropriate? You're right, Pu Tao. 
Zhao He, who is always your niece-in-law. She's concerned about your life. Grandpa, Uncle hasn't had women around for so many years. I doubt Uncle doesn't love women. I really don't like women. Especially some bold women. It sounds Uncle seems to be having suffered from such a woman. <coughs> What's wrong, babe? All right. Just choking. All right. Food's gonna be cold. Let's eat. Bipo, why is there a love bite <coughs> in your body? What? It's a mosquito bite. It's so itchy. My skin is sensitive and delicate. Only a bite will turn it red and itchy. Not to mention I've been bitten several times last night. You don't even know this. You don't think I'm cheating on you, do you? No, babe. I care about you so much. That's why I misunderstood. Once trust collapses, it'll never be repaired. Now that you've suspected me of cheating, no. then let's break up the wedding in three months. We needed to prepare for it. Uncle, why are you laughing? Nothing. Let's eat. Babe. I want to go home. Let me give you a ride. I have something to do, Putao. I might not be able to take you home. It's okay. I can go back myself. Dad, I'm going back to work. We're on our way. Assistant, bye. Let's go together. See you, Grandpa. What are you doing? You know what I'm going to do. Just now at the table. Weren't you the one who seduced me? They'll find out about us, uncle. How dare you call me uncle again. Take it easy. Good morning, Assistant Bai. Morning. Mr. Lu, good morning. Mr. Lu, good morning. What a beast, Lu Zhao Bai Pu, Mr. Lu told you to report the progress of documents organized last week in his office. Okay. Come in. Mr. Lu, the paperwork you asked me to organize last week is all sorted out. I don't know I should bring it to you or do you check it out yourself? Bring it here. Mr. Lu. What else? We're going on a business trip to Beisa tomorrow. I will book the room. I don't know I should book one room or book two rooms. Assistant by. It's office hours. I'm serious too. I'm talking about work with you. But I think you can't wait to play more immoderately. Mr. Lu, we're in the office. Uncle, are you there? What should we do? Jiang Lin is about to find out about us. Assistant Bai, are you afraid? You are not afraid to be found out by Jiang Lin that you're cheating on his fiance. What am I afraid of then? I'm coming in. Wait a minute. Get in there. Come in. I brought the cake that Pu Tao likes. I'm here to visit you too. Isn't she in the office? You don't have to visit me. I have something important to deal with. Please leave. Alright. But... What else? 
The smell of perfume in Uncle's room is similar to the usual one which Pu Tao uses. Oh, Bai Pu is my personal assistant. She usually goes in and out here. It's easy to leave the smell. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just have a chat. Where's Pu Tao? I don't have the time. I don't care about the business of you two lovers. I'll call her. What's the sound? She turned off. Uncle? The sound. It seems that it's under your desk. I get the phone. It's mine. If nothing else, you should go back. Later, I have a very important meeting. Well, I go out to look for Putao. Bye, uncle. Jiang Lin nearly found out that. Are you going to continue? If you are not afraid, me neither. But if you want to end it, I'm not trying to keep it. Give me my phone. I'll go out to work. Do you go out to work or to look for Jiang Lin? Mr. Lu... Are you jealous? I just don't think you will play around on two men. So you hook on me? But if I can be hooked by you, it's my pleasure. Baipu. I am not the person you can mess with. Hello. Hi, Putao. Where are you? I've called you several times. There's no one answered, and the phone shut down. I was busy and didn't notice that the phone shut down. I looked for you just now to send you a cake. Where were you? I looked around and didn't find you. I see it. I will enjoy it then. Putao, we haven't had a date for a long time. I will make it up for you after I finish my work. Great. Bye. Zhang Ling. Zhang Ling, when will you break the engagement with the bitch Bai Pu? You have promised me that you will only love me forever. Wait a little longer. Recently, Hu Tao is getting detached towards me. I suppose she must have someone outsider. You might be a cuckold. Don't you know? What is take this chance to break with her? I'm sure Bai Pu isn't that kind of woman. I will give you the last two more months. If you don't break with Bai Pu, I'll let out all of our affairs. Pu Tao, I have something very important to tell you. Could you come over to the hotel to pick me up? Baby, we have been together for seven years. There are things that should have happened. What? You tell me. Of course, something between couple. Uh, shouldn't that be held until we get married? I can't wait, sweetie. I just want to sleep with you. Is that okay? I'll take a shower first. Well... Wait for me. Baby, I want to wash with you. If you keep silent, I'll act as you defaulted. I'm gonna look for the key. Hello, Uncle. I'm in the room 3206 of Taiyan Hotel with Zhang Ling. Could you come and take me away? That's something of your couple. I don't want to bother. Will you come over or not? Sorry, I can't go. I have a meeting now. You're really willing to let me touch by Zhang Lin? Why not take a shower? Three, two, one. Hello? Is Bai Pu there? Are you looking for Pu Tao? Uncle, how did you know she's by my side? She's your fiance. I can't find her and call you. Anything wrong? No. Then you look for her. Anything important? There's an urgent business trip for a project in Bincheng. Send me the address. I will pick her up half an hour later. Now? Any problem? No. Work comes first. 
My uncle really is a workaholic. It's late. He still asks you to go on a business trip. He really doesn't like women. It's not that he doesn't like women. He likes your women. Uncle, so fast you are. It's on time deadline. Does Baipu pack up? Baipu, take good care of yourself on business. Uncle, take care of Putao. Don't worry, I will. Bye. Didn't you said you wouldn't come and let me solve by myself? Don't you like something exciting? Uncle, you're that duplicity. You said you wouldn't come, but you came in five minutes. Won't you care me a lot and not dare to admit? Where shall we go? It's too late. Why not go to your home or your heart? Didn't Jiang Lin satisfy you just now? What? Uncle, you're jealous? Set off. Uncle... Uncle is a real flirt. Baipu, I told you, don't call me uncle. Baipu, what result do you want? By getting close to me. <laughs> Did I hear you right? You want to have a result with me? Two months later, I will marry your nephew. Lu Zhaohe, this is how things end with us. Is he angry? He shouldn't be. If I really want a relationship with him, then he should be angry. So Baipu, in your eyes, I am just the guy who you play with. It doesn't seem right. I don't believe it. What a coincidence. There's a business at that time. Hello. I want to ask about whether Mr. Lu and Sister Bai have an urgent business last night. Oh? We didn't get any notice that Mr. Lu and Sister Bai had a business. No business? I didn't hear Mr. Lu is on business trip. What's up? Why is the front desk of Cheng Chuan said you weren't on a business with Bai Pu? Do you hide anything from me? This time, the project in Bincheng only demands Bai Pu to go alone. Why should I go? And I don't have that duty to inform the company. Your fiancé is on business. Jiang Lin, if it's something private, you'd better not go to the company. Cheng Chuan is not a place for you to deal with your personal affairs. It's my fault. Sorry, uncle. You're pretty good in hiding out. Look what Mr. Lu said. I am working for the company now. Now? Do you know the president of Yunsheng? He also wants the raw materials in Beisa. He wants to meet you. I know him. He was a senior of Cheng Chuan before. He left by himself to found Yunsheng. And? Are you sure to get that raw materials? You inform Luo Cheng. We can meet in Beisha as soon as possible. Although Yunsheng is no match for Cheng Chuan, but these two years, the speed of its development is the fastest in history. This batch of raw materials is very precious. Mr. Lu, you can't blame me for that. I'm the president of Cheng Chuan Group. It is my duty. 
to bring the best things to my customers. We can see who will win. Assistant Bai, remember to send the project of the materials in Bincheng to Mr. Luo after back to the hotel. I think that will be the best choice for Yunsheng. Got it. This is to let Yunsheng withdraw voluntarily from buying the raw materials in Beisa, for he will lose in any way. Instead of getting that in Bincheng, it's better than getting nothing. We have a dinner party tonight. Your dress is not suitable. Remember to change. It's not suitable? Ah. Why are you here? I'm the assistant of Mr. Lu. It's normal for us on business together, sister. Why are you here with my fiancé? Isn't it possible on business either? You... Baby, I can't explain. It's not like what you see. Let me take you back to the hotel. I have social interactions tonight. No time for explanation. Let's go, Mr. Lu. Why is Bai Pu and your uncle so close? I think there must be something. It's your fault. If you didn't demand to go to Beisha, we wouldn't be discovered. <laughs> this time in Beisha, I booked two rooms. My room is opposite to yours. Here is your room card. If you have anything urgency, you can find me anytime. Really? What if you come tonight? Here it is. Where to go? Go back to my room. Go in. Why do you speak so loudly? There are our colleagues next door. Not afraid of being hurt by them? Doing too much. A brain retribution. Then why did you do before? Is Pu Tao here? Pu Tao! Hey, are you looking for Assistant Bai? Yes, Assistant Bai was asked to Mr. Lu's room for business just now. Where's Mr. Lu's room? Next door. Well, thanks. Bai Pu, why is there a hit on your body? Uncle, the perfume in your office smells like what Pu Tao commonly uses. Uncle, is Pu Tao here? Putao! Go back home to look for your girlfriend. Why come here? Uncle, I heard you asked her to your room, so I'm here. I'm her boss, not her bodyguard. It's not good for my fame to ask her to my room at midnight. Uncle, I don't mean that. You'd better be. Do you know where she is? Call her by herself. Unexpectedly, Mr. Lu is quite skilled in acting. Is it deliberate for you to call Mr. Lu at this time? If you like this, I can play with you. Hmm. Mr. Lu thinks this is exciting, right? Assistant Bai, you tell me if Jiang Lin discovers this one day. What should you do? I'm your assistant. I will follow your order. I will do whatever you say. Baipu came to the hotel specifically to see you. Where are you? I'm outside to buy something. Nonsense! I heard that you went to uncle's room. So you go to Beisa in the hotel just for tracking me? I work so hard outside, and I haven't asked you why you're here with Bai Liu. You asked me instead. I didn't suspect you. Babe, we're getting married soon. How could I possibly suspect you? It's better. I'm tired. Assistant Bai said I was good at acting. I think you're better than me. In front of Miss Lu, it's just a cheap shot. 
Mr. Liu. This is the president of Song Group, Song Li. Nice to meet you, Mr. Liu. Hello, Ho Tao. Nice to meet you, Mr. Liu. It's my first time to see you. I prepare a surprise for you. This is Xia Yang. She is new. She is the new auditor of raw materials of my company. She just returned from abroad. I heard that she's Mr. Lu's acquaintance, so I bring her to meet you. Zhao He, long time no see. Oh, I have been in Chengchuan for so long and didn't know Mr. Lu had such an ex-lover. Assistant Bai, do you know that? Even Assistant Bai doesn't know that. Mr. Lu, you hit it hard. I'm just Mr. Lu's private assistant, so I have no right to ask my superior's emotional matters. Thought he had an old flame. We were just high school classmates. Mr. Lu, you needed to explain that it's your privacy. Let's get started. We need to catch a plane this afternoon. It's weird. It shouldn't be like this to meet the ex-lover. Stop. We are finally back. My mom and I have something to tell you. Your mother has been dead for almost a year. I think it's time to move the things of your mother out of here. It's unlucky to leave the things of the dead in the house. What are you doing? I tell you not to touch my mother's things, or you'll pay for it. Ah, someone help! Bitch! Oh, you're acting so good. It's a pity for you not to be an actress. You, you are a bad girl. Come back. No, I have to move out as soon as possible. Then I can protect what my mom left me. Moving out like this, that's great for Bai Liu. If I come up with Jiang Lin for cohabitation and trial marriage, then I'll have the reason to move out and discuss them at the same time. Mom, I know you want me to be a modest and gentle woman. Since Jiang Lin betrayed me, it's impossible for me to be a good woman. However, I'll promise you to finish your wish, no matter what happens. I'll marry Zhang Li in two months. Competition trial marriage. Zhang Li, you really promised that bitch. Well, that's a stopgap measure. Wait a little longer. What the hell are you waiting for? As for money or family, as an illegitimate daughter, she's no match for me. It's not as simple as you think. Trust me, okay? Okay? When I receive the inheritance left by her mom, I don't have to rely on the Lu family. Zhao He, we have we known each other for almost 20 years? What's the matter? You can't speak up straight. I don't have the time to reminisce with you. Miss Xia, Mr. Lu. You're Zhao He's assistant. Bai Ku, right? Your name sounds great. Our Zhao He, their relationship is really intimate. Well, Miss Xia, I'm flattered. You too. The relationship between you two seems to be very good. Miss Xia thought too much. Mr. Liu is my fiancé's uncle. I'm also his assistant. I know him better. Naturally than other colleagues. Don't worry about it. Mr. Liu, if there's nothing else, I'll go out first. Come to my office. Assistant Bai, go and inquire about gossip. Mr. Du, you're looking for me. What do you think I have to do with Xia Yan? 
Didn't Mr. Lu say that you are old acquaintances? Old acquaintances. Have you ever heard that we are just high school classmates? Mr. Lu, is this explaining to me? Probably not. I don't have the qualification to care, right? You are simply not qualified to ask. I don't have to explain it to you. Get out. Why could I think of Lu Zhaohe? Bai Pu, wake up! Babe, guess why So and I went out today? Who? Xu Xiaoran, your best friend. Doesn't she have a boyfriend? I saw her yesterday go to a hotel with a man that is not her boyfriend. Although I trust you very much, but I don't quite agree you go out with such impure girls who went out with different men. Okay? Impure? You are the impure person. Well, Mr. Lu, this is the list of raw materials and detailed information sent by Mr. Song. Please take a look. Moreover, Miss Xia will be sent to connect with the project in Beisau for the next step. I heard you and Jiang Lin are cohabiting. Do you mind? Although I don't have misophobia, it's not like not picking anything. Not everyone I can accept. I'm going to marry him anyway. Sooner or later, we all have to live together. It's better to live together earlier to get used to it. So did you sleep with him last night? I don't care about Mr. Lu's emotional life. I also hope Mr. Lu don't interfere the private life of the employees. I'll ask again. Did he sleep with you? It's none of your business. Assistant Bai, don't be sad. Have something to eat. Thanks, Lily. I'm not hungry. It's true, Mr. Lu is excellent, but he has been into the lovely Xia Yan, so you shouldn't die for a man. There are other fish in the sea. My geek obsessed with this fish alone. You just took me wrong, Lily. Got you wrong. You have nothing to do with Mr. Lu. M Mr. Lu. Come to my office later. Well, Mr. Lu, Mr. Lu, I'm coming in. Try to cry again. Mr. Lu, what are you doing with me? What do you think? Ah! Ah! Let me down! You want others to hear? You catched up with your ex-lover just now at the office. You pressed me to kiss now. Wouldn't it be too much? I hope you're not jealous. It doesn't matter to me. Why should I be jealous? Will you flirt with an unknown guy? Mr. Lu cares so much about those words. Are you over me? You think too highly of yourself. Well, there have been no women around Mr. Lu for three years. How can it be heartwarming to me? The relationship between us is just a matter of taking it.、Mm. Bye, Paul. Miss Xia. Mr. Song asked me to stop by to send Beisau's project inspection results, and that way you can review earlier. Give it to me to ensure that nothing goes wrong. The materials should be checked, and you should finish the inspection ahead of Yuncheng. Don't worry, I will work overtime to check the materials tonight. Where is Zhao He? Mr. Lu has been off duty. I'm just the assistant of Mr. Lu. I have no right to look into his private life. Well, do your business, and I'll leave first. Assistant, bye. I'm going to get off work first. Well, bye.
Mr. Lu. What happened to you? How did you come here? My stomach hurts. I'll send you to the hospital right now. Acute appendicitis. Just pay attention to rest. Thank you. Do you feel better now? It's in my delusion tonight. Why is Lu Zhao so gentle? You didn't have a fever, fortunately. Have you had dinner yet? I'll buy you something to eat. I have already set the bell for you. If I'll call you again in the future and I can't find you, know the consequences. Get up! Aunt, I have a fever and I want to rest. Little brat, you still have reason. A fever can kill you. Hurry up and go quickly. I miss you so much, Mom. Today there's someone who takes care of me like you did. Unfortunately, he and I are not the same type of person, but I seem to care about him now. She cried. Get up and drink the soup. It's good for your health. Eating these will help you recover faster. Come. Today, Shayan came to me. She gave me the material without seeing you. Told you about me? Yes. So what do you say? What do you expect me to say? Assistant Bai always performs her duty respectfully and with care. She would not fish transgressively for superior's private issues. Am I right, Bai Pu? What do you mean? What kind of answer is that? Do you want to hear from me again? I finished this cigarette and went back. You take care of the rest. Assistant Bai always performs her duty respectfully and with care. She would not fish transgressively for superior's private issues. He was clearly not wrong, but why do I feel stuck in my heart? Lu Zhouhei, you are hopeless. You can't even drink a glass of wine without missing her. Why is it so stringent? But the one I drank with you that night was sweeter. Lu Zhaohe, I'd like to drink the kanji you bought again. Congratulations to Cheng Chuan for stealing a march on completing a review. This thing, I knew it last night. Anything else? Zhaohe, can we still love each other? As we used to do in high school. One cannot live only in the past. I'm sure you understand that. Next time when you come to Chengchuan, I hope it's because of business. Okay, I'll leave you alone then. Have a good rest. Bye, Poo. Miss Xia. I went to Chun Chuan and heard that you were in hospital. Miss Bai, you won't blame me come and see you so presumptuously. Of course not. Miss Bai, you are a smart person. Then let me go straight. Zhao He's preference all these years remains the same. He still likes drinking the soup at that restaurant. I don't hide from you. I can feel that Zhao He treats you differently, but Miss Bai, you have been engaged with your fiancé. Surely you know what you're doing. I have known Zhao He for nearly 20 years, since high school. We have always been together. It's my fault. When I was in college, I insisted on going abroad. I know a man as good as Zhao He, there will be a lot of women catch up on the pursuit. Also, bitchy women pursuing him. But, assistant Bai, 
In what kind of position one should do what's supposed to be done? Assistant by, do you know what I mean? Xiao, I'm not such a person. As long as a man cheats on his lover, to me, he's impure. I won't even look at it. Instead of wasting your time on me, why don't you think about how to catch Zhao He's heart? You. Xia, go away, please. Pu Tao, I brought you flowers. Well, bananas. Oh well, it's time for my family and I will go to offer sacrifices to ancestors. Grandpa said we'll get married in two months. He asked me to take you back to join the event. By the way, I will take you to officially meet my relatives. So fast. With less than two months left. Offer sacrifices to ancestors. Do you really want to marry Jiang Lin Bai Pu? What kind of woman are you? It's strange that I should have seen Lu Zhao He. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Oh well, one more thing. What? Haven't you just moved in recently? Those things your mom left before. When do you plan to? It's none of your business. Babe, we got married right away. Don't be shy. I'm tired. We should go back home. All right, take care of yourself. You have been engaged with your fiancé. Surely you know what you're doing. Grandpa said we'll get married in two months. Mr. Lu. Let me go! Fong. Hello? Babe, I forgot to go to the nurse station for your medicine. I'll ask the nurse to take the medicine later. The day of the Lu family's ancestor worship has been set next week. Can you be discharged from the hospital at that time? I'm worried about your health. I'm okay. I'll hang up. What's the sound over there? Nothing. <laughs> Baipu, do you really want to participate to offer the sacrifices to ancestors? You really think you're granddaughter-in-law of the Lu family, aren't you? Since you want to play with me, then why not break up with Jiang Lin? Since you're so determined to marry Jiang Lin, why are you messing with me? Tell me. Is it fun to hook me up like this? At first you texted me and flirted with me. But now you can't wait to marry with Jiang Lin. Well, you think that after marrying Jiang Lin, I'm going to keep playing with you? What sort of person do you think I am? Yes, you're right. I just like to hang you on the side, and I also want to marry into the Lu family. It's just between us. We're meant to be each other's playthings. Don't you also play with Shayan? We are even. How can you come here to question me? I've already said that. We're nothing but a love affair. It's just a game between adults. It's unbelievable that Mr. Lu can't afford to play. A game? You're so good. Was he hurt by what I said? If not, why did he look so upset? But Lu Zhaohe clearly doesn't like me. And he won't like me either, would he? Mom caught the shots for you. In what kind of position is what should be done? Lu Zhaohe, I wanted to make a convenience of you to leave from my last relationship. But I didn't expect that I had been trapped into the relationship with you. I admit that I have feelings for you, but I'm still marrying Jiang Lin. It's the only way to put my mom to rest. Our beginning doomed you will not and should not belongs to me. Mr. Du. You must be disappointed now. 
I'm such a person, bad woman in every sense of the term. So you'd better stop the loss in time. Fine. Bai Pu, see, he doesn't like you in the first place. He can't wait to break up with you to get back together with Xia Yan. And how could he feel disappointed because of what you said, Mister Lu? One more month, I'm about to marry Jiang Lin. I'll soon be a member of the Lu family. I also hope you take good care of me. And Xia Yan, didn't you reunited with her? I am not good. And there may also be a bit of problem in my morality, but I don't want to be the third party between you and Xia Yan. We, you're done. I don't want to be the third party between you and Xia Yan. We, you're done. That's enough. Are we done? You say it's over. I'm telling you, you are not in a position to inform me. <laughs> What's up, dude? Come here to get drunk. Not like you, Lu Xiaohei. Shut up. The Xia Yan's return reminds you of painful memories when you were dumped by her. I don't want to be the third party between you and Xia Yan. We, we're done. It's quite painful. But if not for Xia Yan, I won't see her either. Really, put it down. What's up? We will go to offer sacrifices to ancestors the day after tomorrow. You need to come back. No time. You are such an unfilial shit. Don't you dare come back. Do you really want to break it with Lu Zhaohe? Yes. Why do I feel that you are a little sad? I don't. You're telling a lie. I know you very well. I think actually Lu Zhaohe is quite good to you. So Bai Pu, you flirted with me, and you cried in front of me. What do these mean? Should I go to offer sacrifices to ancestor and play along with you again? Puto, you're finally ready to be discharged. My grandpa asked about your health just now. Fortunately, it's okay now. My grandpa can set his mind at ease after seeing you. Let's go. It's going to be late. That asshole hasn't come back. Grandpa, Uncle said he was too busy to return home. Busy? For such an important event, he didn't come back. I think he's really gone rogue. Who said I wouldn't come back? Uncle. Well. Hey, clean up. Jung Lin, you didn't find out there's something wrong with your girlfriend? Hey, Putao, you're hurt. How did he find out that I was injured? It's okay. Butler, go upstairs and get the medical kit. Wrap Miss Bai's wound in a bandage. Why didn't I find my uncle care so much about Putao? Assistant Bai followed me for three years as a boss. Showing consideration for subordinates is normal, isn't it? He cares about me just because he's my superior. No problem. It's time to eat. I did expect that you and Jiang Lin's fiance are quite familiar. Sir, Miss Bai is here. Okay. Well, Pu Tao, what do you think of Zhao He? Grandpa said he would discuss the engagement with me. Why does he ask about Lu Zhaohe? Mister Lu is always a very considerate boss. He's also good to us employees. I am not sure whether he is considerate or not, but 
You are not honest. As the saying goes, you can't have two things at the same time. You know what I mean, right? Did Grandpa find out the relationship between Liu Zhao and me? Where are you? Come and get the medicine. Since I have decided to end with Zhao He, I won't mess with Liu Zhao He anymore. Oops! No more drinks. So you just said only Liu Zhao He found out that you were injured. Wu Tao, have you fallen in love with him? We are already done. But you ending the relationship doesn't conflict with you liking him. I've been fooled once and suffered loss. I can't be trapped in love anymore. From now on, I'm going to get rid of distractions and work hard. But I've heard it from you that Liu Jiahe is a nice man. It's okay. Absolutely not. He's not good at all. No more drinks. Hello, are you Mr. Lu Lu Zhao He? I'm Pu Tao's bestie. She's drunk now. Can I trouble you to pick her up? Mom, I'm sorry. Bai Pu, how are you? I will fulfill your last wish. Go and marry Zhang Lin. I will be obedient, but I really don't like that scumbag. I don't like him. It turned out that she didn't like Jiang Lin, but Bai Pu, what the hell do you think of her relationship? Just for fun? If so, why did you cry that night? If not, is it because you like me? You don't like Jiang Lin. Then do you like Lu Zhaohe? Lu Zhaohe? How can I like Lu Zhaohe? I started so embarrassed with him. There's also the relationship between Zhao Li and his grandfather, and he's the president of a rich and powerful group. I'm just a sender, a hopeless woman. It's okay to play with him. I can't. I dare not. I definitely won't like him. I don't like him. I don't like Lu Zhaohe at all. Why not? He likes others. He doesn't like me. How do you know I don't like you? Since you hate me, then why are you still shaking? You are Lu Zhaohe. I hate you. I hate you the most. What exactly are you hating about me? It's annoying for you like this way, or this. As long as it's you, I hate it all. What the hell? Drinking led it to serious trouble. You're awake. How could I be here? It seems that for the events of last night, you don't remember at all. Your friend asked me to pick you up. Get up first. Eat the meal. We're just colleagues, Mister Du. It is not necessary to treat me so nice. But last night, when in bed. Why didn't you say these words to get rid of me? That's also because of Mr. Du, your poor self-control. So you were seduced by a drunk woman, right? 
Well, you're pretty good at seducing men. So what do you think? Very good indeed. But even if I'm great, in the future I will have nothing to do with you. Last night was our last. After that, we'll only be left work relationship. A month later, I'm going to marry your nephew. You don't like Jiang Lin. Why do you agree to marry him? I don't remember what I said to you last night, but it's a matter between me and Jiang Lin. It's not your turn for an outsider to intervene. Uncle? I admired Mr. Lu for a long time. I was willing and glad. I've already said that. It's just a game between adults. As long as it's you, I hate it all. Which one of you is true? Which one is lie? Morning, Mr. Lu. I said some bye. You and Mr. Lu were not in the company yesterday. Were you going on a date? You're kidding me. Even if it's a date, that would be Miss Jia. How could it be my turn? That's exactly what you said. I don't know when I can drink Miss Jia and Mr. Lu's wedding wine. Why, Pu, you're done. It doesn't matter whoever he's with. There's nothing to do with you. What's bothering you? The project in Besa. Relevant materials needs to be kept in secret. Well, there's a bidding conference next week. How's the program going? I've almost finished it before, but due to hospitalization, there was a delay. I will work overtime today to finish it as soon as possible. You have a cold. Thanks for your concern. But your concern, let's leave it to the more suitable people. For example, Miss Xia. That's enough. I don't care you got a cold or not. I'm just afraid you'll make a mistake because of drinking. Don't worry. I won't delay my work. If there's nothing else, I'll go out first. Isn't that the answer you wanted to hear? But why do I care? I found out when I was almost home. I need to take the bit document back and finish it. I don't know if there's anyone in the company now. Who is there? Isn't this the company's air-conditioned room? What am I doing here? There? Is there anyone out there? Where is my phone? Anyone there? Someone help and let me out! Let me out! So hot. Bye, Pooh. Answer the phone. Answer the phone! It's almost sorted out now, but due to hospitalization, there was a delay. I will work overtime today. Why die here? I don't want to die yet. I haven't finished my bid document yet. I haven't fulfilled my mother's last wish yet. Oh, where are you? Will you be like last time up here in time? No, no way, we're done. You won't show up this time. Bye, Pu. So many years, you're all on your own. How can you depend on a man now? Don't forget that men are the most deceptive. Men are no good. Bye, Pu. I'm here. Baipu, what did you run here? Is it hot? Joe, 
I didn't expect you to save me again. I can't trust men anymore. But if it was you, if I try again, would we have a possibility? Lu Zhaohe. Pu Tao, wouldn't you rather see someone else guarding you here? Xia Yan wants to see Uncle. He's gone. Bai Pu, Lu Zhaohe has Xia Yan. He just saved you out of concern as a boss. What you didn't say last night, I think is a sign from heaven. If you said it, you might be humiliated. Mr. Liu is my boss. If I had an accident at the company, there's no good for him. Besides, he saved me and brought me to the hospital. He was able to send me here. It's all righteous. You're right, Pu Tao. I just because I heard you call another man's name, so I didn't hold back for a while. Don't blame me. I do not. Get up, please. Why are you here? You're pregnant. Yes, I'm pregnant. When exactly do you break up with her? In the net, I can't wait. The child in my belly can't wait. Tell me, I don't have much time. You saved me before. I have always kept it in my heart. You are a good boy. I hope you will take good care of my daughter, Pu Tao. I believe you. For the property posing as the lifesaver of Bai Pu's mother, I've been with Bai Pu for so long. I can't stop here. Thank you, Mr. Lu, for saving me the night before last. Employees seek the next day to let her return to work. I'm still not so unsatisfactory as a boss. I heard from Lily our planning was stolen. It's almost time to launch. I want to come back quickly for the new planning. These things are not something you should worry about. Your priority is to take care of your body. But only I saw that person. I can't leave it alone. Which man? That's right. Mind your own business. I'll take care of these things. Do you want to go through again, Baipu Adventure? Well, how could you come that night? If I didn't call you that night, do you know what's going to happen? It's strange. Why am I so angry? How did he look so angry? Is it because he's worried about me? Zhao He, can I come in? Come in. Assistant Bai is also there. I heard you were hospitalized. Thank you, Miss Xia, for your concern. Much better, thanks. I heard the bidding program was stolen. Mr. Song said to have a dinner and discuss about it. Would you like to join us, Assistant Bai? I'll pass on that. It's official business. Then, let's go. I heard what happened about the other night. Assistant Bai is really brave and fearless. Here's a toast. Let me. I'll drink for her. She's recently out of the hospital. If you really want to drink it again, she drinks water instead of wine. I really don't know Zhao He will actually block alcohol for his employees. What's the relationship between you and Assistant Bai? I really don't know Zhao He will actually block alcohol for his employees. What's the relationship between you and Assistant Bai? She isn't really curious about my answer. Assistant Bai just went to the hospital because of the company's affairs. As a boss, I am considerate of my subordinates. Anything wrong? Bai Pu, what are you expecting? Po Tao has worked with you for several years. And she's your nephew's fiance. For this, you should take care of her. Oh well, Po Tao, when is your wedding? Remember to invite me then. Well, a month later. Zhao He has really changed a lot. When we were together in high school, you were notoriously unkind. They've been together since high school. That's right. 
At that time, Zhao He was only enthusiastic about you, but ice cube faces or a wooden man to other people. That's enough. Oh, I'm still in business. I won't accompany you for now. Hey, why are you suddenly leaving? Well, my fiance came to pick me up. Excuse me. She said the words of her fiance. Why am I so uncomfortable? If Lu Zhao really cares about me, he wouldn't say that, would he? He and Xiaoyan were together in high school. How could I possibly compare to her? Men are all the same. Didn't Jiang Lin take you home? Why are you still here? Get in. I'll take you home. Didn't you take Xia Yan home? Couldn't I take you? I didn't say no. You care a lot. How could it be? You're so conscientious to get in the car, like you in my bed. Come to my home tonight. Mr. Lu, I'll back to your nephew's home to get in his bed. How dare you? Lu Zhaohe, since you don't care about me, you just play with me. Why won't you end this game? Since you said you hate me. Then why when they talk about Xiaoyan and me, you behave so strangely? Do, Do you, you have feelings, have feelings for, me for me too? Are you okay? I'm sorry, Mr. Liu isn't by. I don't mean it. Deduct one month's salary. Go to the administrative office and get a fine. Okay, I pull. It's all because you came back to the office that night and messed up my plan. We didn't see. I hope it didn't scold you. That's okay. It won't come off. I'll wash it back and bring it to you. What will Jiang Lin think of you if you take a man's suit back? Will Jiang Lin not be suspicious of you? Help me with the tie. Mr. Lu, you're right. We'd better keep distance. Keep distance? With who? Of course, it's... What's wrong? Zhaohe, are you available now? The bidding is the day after tomorrow. I'm going to get the details approved. Come to my office. Bai Pu, you can't care about whether Lu Zhaohe likes Xiaoyang or not. It's got nothing to do with you. I think Luo Zhen did it on purpose. I came to the office. She left the tea room. She shouldn't be able to bump into me. She may be the leaker. Nice guess. But we need to wait until the end of the bidding to deal with her. You go and prepare the bidding meeting in Besa tomorrow. Why don't you just fire her? Because she and Luo Cheng are siblings. So you only don't want to let them know what we're planning. You're smart. Mr. Lu, I'd appreciate it if you'd watch her behavior from now on. Xiaoyan will come over in a while. It's not good for her to see it. What's more? You're just going to marry my nephew, right? We'll have the wedding in one month. I'll have to ask Mr. Lu for help to book me a hotel. Okay. Come in. Miss Xia.
Hey, Assistant Pai, what's the relationship between Mr. Lu and Miss Xia? Are they really boyfriend and girlfriend? I've heard they were together in high school. Wouldn't that still be childhood sweetheart? I don't know. How can he possibly give up on Xiaoyan just for me? I heard about the leak, but Cheng Chuan group is still great with such a short time, you are able to make a new bid. It's thanks to Mr. Luo. Don't misunderstand. I mean, thanks to strong competitors like Yun Sheng, we are able to stimulate the latent abilities of our employees and make a new bid so quickly. We've always done business with a conscience, unlike some people that do whatever it takes to get what they want. Do you agree, Mr. Luo? Business is like a battlefield, Mr. Lu. To succeed, there's always something to give up. As the old saying goes, you can't always get all of the things that you want. What is more important? I'm sure Mr. Lu has his own ideas. Mr. Lu, the bidding meeting is about to begin. Please move. Thank you for waiting. The winning bid results are already in. The company that won the bid for the BASA project is... Cheng Chuan Group. Congratulations! Don't worry, is there any mistakes? Luo Cheng. I've said it before. You have to be conscientious in business. If you try any more tricks, I will not spare you. This bidding meeting, your new program has done wonders. I've been working for you for three years. When did I ever let you down? Exactly. Whether it's work... Girl life. Okay, go back to the hotel first. Aren't you going back? You want to come back with me? Of course not. You've been working hard for a few days on the program. You're not fully recovered. You need to back at the hotel and rest. Why did he come back so late? So he didn't come back with me because he had a date with Xia Yan celebrating until now. Lu Zhao He said I played you as a fool, but aren't you like that now, playing me like a fool? Xia Yan, let go of me. It's been a hard time. Go back early to rest. Zhao He, you know that I've come back this time just to start over with you again. It was my fault. I shouldn't dump you and got married abroad, but I thought you'd be as good to me as you were before. It's all over. Do you dislike me for being married? It's not gonna work between us. So who is the one suitable with you? Bai Pu? There's nothing to do with her. I can tell you like her. She's your nephew's fiance. You're going to steal your nephew's girl? It's not gonna work for you two to continue down this road. I warn you, Xiaoyan. This is my business. I can't tolerate you or anyone meddling. If it happens again, I'll give you a ticket out of the country. Zhao He! I wonder whether he will come back or not. What if... He wants to stay there to share feelings with Miss Xia. What are you waiting for? Where is Miss Xia? She went back last night. Last night? But I obviously saw... See what? Nothing. I can tell you like her! Why did you suddenly mention Xiaoyan? She's your ex-girlfriend and partner. Can't I care? You're right. 
Then I'll ask her to have dinner later to help Assistant Bai to thank her. All right. Later, I'll be back to Jiang Lin's apartment. Then please just say thanks to Miss Xia for me. Babe, don't worry. I'll be good to you. This is the most critical time for both of us. Don't drop the chain. You just rest easy. Give birth to our baby. Baby, she's pregnant. Hu Tao, you're back. My business trip is over. Shouldn't I come back? Ah, uh, yes. Just now I... Playing game on the balcony, don't you feel hot? Yeah, it's hot. Well, I'll help you carry things. You're back so soon. Why didn't you tell me? You just rest easy. Give birth to our baby. Bai Pu is a bastard. Do you know what bastard means? Her mother is a mistress. She ruined someone else's family. My mom said mistress will seduce away our dad. Tear our families apart. I don't like mistress. Well, we don't play with her. <laughs> if it's accordance with your wishes. Baby of Jiang Ming and Bai Liu were born as a bastard like me. But I don't want to. I don't want that kid to be criticized as much as I've been. Baipu. Jaha. Why did you drink so many liquor? Not many. Well... Okay, let go of me. Mm, I won't... Be obedient. No! What's wrong with you tonight? Shh. We are not talking tonight. Oh, is that? Oh. Wanna run? No, tomorrow I... I still have to go to work. I have to go home. Wanna go home? After you slept with me, you didn't admit it. You think you can come when you want and go whenever you want. Keep sleeping. Thank you, mistress. Get out of here. No! <sighs> What's wrong? Had a nightmare? Do you think illegitimate children are not worthy of living in this world? No one likes me. Even I hate myself too. But all of this is not my fault, right? Sorry, Mr. Lu. I'm here. Keep sleeping. Utahu, stop caring about me. I can't stop myself from loving you. If you saved my mother at that time, then you would be my fiancé. How nice that would be. Aren't you living with Jiang Lin? 
He allows you to stay here. He doesn't care where I go. You mean you're blaming him? He's not qualified. I was just in a bad mood last night. I just want to vent. It's better come to you than others, just like the first time, to take what we need. That's really hard for you. Baipu, you said you hate me the most, but why you had sex with me again and again? I'd love to know the reasons. Hello. Hey, Botao. This week, Jemlin arranged a meal for both families. Let's meet together to discuss the wedding. Got it. As for me, I'm a true bad woman. You just heard. I'm gonna marry your nephew next month. You wanna live your life? Might as well look for a good girl like Miss Xia. Don't come to me. You're really empathetic. <clears throat> um, I've sent the materials for the meetings to Lily. Just go straight later. Thanks, Assistant Bai. The project for this competition was successfully tendered. She deserves encouragement. But I'm not encouraging everyone to risk your life for the company. From next week, I'm going to set up a dedicated team for BESA project. Frequently on business. That's all. Dispersed. Bai Pu, it's you. You ruined my plan again. Let's see how I kick your ass. Mr. Lu, about the project in Vesa, I think we'd better go and talk about it in person next week. Well, those that won the bid before, be sure to keep the relevant data and materials safe. Don't worry, I don't keep it at the office. I've carried what I can carry and put some on my private computer too. What are you laughing at? As a boss, to have employees like you, I am happy. Can I? Such inexplicably. Baipu, you don't have to participate in things over there in Yunsheng. It's dangerous. I'm afraid you're in danger. Protect yourself. Are you worried about my safety? You are my assistant. Of course I care about you. Just an assistant? Then what do you want me to say to you? Nothing. By the way, I have to leave an hour earlier today. The Lu family and the Bai family are discussing the wedding in the evening. I need to go back early. I knew it. We are just playing. I'll drive you there later. No. Okay, you sent me there. Lu Zhaohe, since you are so ruthless, then don't blame me to be benevolent. Hello, Mr. Luo. I'm Xiaoyan. I think I have something that you want. It's also exactly what Yunsheng needs. Well, okay. Then we'll meet tomorrow. Okay. Why didn't I know Mr. Lu cared so much about these juniors? You took time out of your busy schedule to attend Bai Fu and Jiang Lin's engagement party. Well, Zhao He, it's rare for you to have time. We'll be relatives from now on. Keeping in touch will be better, right? <laughs> Our Bai Fu, if she marries Jiang Lin, 
it would be the blessing of her life. <laughs> An illegitimate daughter is able to marry into the Lu family. She'd wake up smiling in dreams. <laughs> this wedding was decided by Baipu's mother before her death. She has been eyeing Zhang Li and Lu family, thinking how to find a rich husband for Baipu. In this way, she can become rich overnight. Shut up. She has been here in the Bai family with a rich life. Jiang Lin has been unruly since he was a kid. I think it's a little strange if he can really marry Bai Pu. Such a good wife. As your uncle, maybe I don't talk well, but for the first time today in Bai family, compared to you guys, I'm still a lot inferior. This is Bai family's affair. Mr. Lu, why are you interested in it? Well, we are here today to discuss their marriage. Well, not here to talk about other issues. <laughs> After the marriage, Pu Tao will be married to our Lu family. Zhao Hei will also be your uncle. He'll care about you. Right, Zhao Hei? Two days later, Jiang Lin, you need to take Pu Tao to try the wedding dress. And take the wedding photos first. I heard you have a friend runs a bridal shop. Then invite them to give you a hand, okay? Please take a seat first. Bye, Paul. Your mom left something here. I'll give it to you when you come to the back garden. Okay, let's go. Where's the stuff? You bitch! What could your mom have left here? If there is, that's you, bitch. Because you were pregnant, I didn't realize you were still so arrogant. How do you know? If you don't want anybody to know it, don't do it in the first place. You bitch! Now that you know I'm pregnant, why didn't you give my jelly back to me? Zhao you saved me again. What should I pay you? My heart? You probably won't need it. Maybe Cheyenne was right. Several times I was worried about Bai Pu. What I don't like is her attitude of just playing. It's because I care about her. So Bai Pu, no matter what happened, you must be fine. How could Bai Pu fall into the water for no reason? I hope the child will be fine. Who are you worried about? What do you say, uncle? Of course I'm worried about my fiancé. Bai Pu! Really? So how did you just go without saving your fiancé? I didn't expect it either. Why did uncle subconsciously save my fiancé? Doctor, how is their condition? One of the ladies lost her baby. Is it my child that Bai Pu is carrying? Lost her baby? Calm down. How could I calm down? Baipu, why are you so vicious? Why did you push Bai Liu into the water? Tell me! Did you know she was pregnant? I'm gonna kill you! Tell me in. Let me go! Stay away from her! You scum! Bully! Crap! You are my uncle. Why do you always belittle me and defend an outsider like Baipu? Lu Xiaohei, why do you care so much about a bastard of Bai family? Stop it! Look what you've done! And you! He is your nephew! How could you do this? Why don't you ask him what he did? No, Grandpa! Shut up! If you mess me up again, 
the group shares will have nothing to do with you anymore. Grandpa, no! Xiaoliu, are you okay? Mom, I almost couldn't see you anymore. Baibu, you're a bitch born to a bitch. You almost killed my daughter. I want you to pay for your life. Mr. Lu, you're also here. Hospitals don't allow dogs to bark. Don't you know? Get down here. Apologize to Xiao Liu. Apologize to your sister. Sister was pregnant. Shouldn't you go find that irresponsible man? What do I owe her? I didn't make her pregnant. You two shameless assholes <laughs> deceived my mom without any moral bottom line. Make her pay for her heart, but still standing at the moral high ground to insult us. If I really want to hurt her, do I need to get myself into the water too? I think someone's trying to do bad things but end up being dragged. Jiang Lin, you are my fiancé, but you almost wanted to kill me because my sister had an abortion. Do you feel sorry for our long-term affection? Grandpa. I think this child is yours. Otherwise, how could you have thought of taking revenge on that child and choke me to death? That's why you want to kill me to revenge for your child. No, I haven't got that property yet. Now admitting it would be a complete failure. Grandpa, it's not like that. That child is not mine. I was too agitated just now. Pu Tao, I was wrong. I really know I was wrong. It won't happen again. I promise it won't happen again. I swear. Zhang Lin, I think it's time to reconsider our relationship. In two days, I will ask Xiao Ran to help me move out of your apartment. Let's break up. My mom wouldn't agree to let me marry someone who almost wanted to kill me. Pu Tao, please. I really know I was wrong. So what do you want me to do? Forgive you happily? Pu Tao, we will just wait and see. When I succeed in obtaining your mom's inheritance, I would repay your today's humiliation hundreds and thousands of times. Pu Tao, be honest. Auntie told me something before she passed away. She left an important gift with me as your wedding gift. She wanted me to give it to you after getting married. What is it? If you insist on breaking up with me, you may not see it in your lifetime. Well... I didn't mean to threaten you. I really love you and I want to marry you. Don't prolong the agony. If you promise me not to mention the breakup and not terminating the engagement, you will know it after we get married. Does Zhang Li really have that thing? What will mom do for me? No, I need to find it. I promise you not to mention the termination of the engagement for a moment. Okay. I knew you loved me the most. Grandpa, I... I have a few words to say to my Po. Please go out for a moment. What does Grandpa have to say to her? Bai Po, I'm coming over today, first, about Jiang Lin. He used to being a jerk since he was young, so he did some extraordinary things. I apologize to you on his behalf. As for whether you forgive or not, it's up to you. Second, you can't always think of getting everything. The most taboo thing is wanting one thing, but looking at other things also. You and Xiao He are clearly people from two different worlds. You are just one of his assistants. From now on, I don't want to hear anything about your relationship and scandal with Xiao He. Grandpa, I... If you are unwilling to agree, they don't blame me for being ruthless. I am afraid you won't be able to stay in Jiang City in the future. You... Do you still want to marry him? Do you know that he almost killed you? But I haven't found what? my mom left yet in order to stabilize Jiang Lin. I can't tell Lu Zhou now. Yes. You still want to marry him? Yes. You just like him that much, right? So why are you asking me this question, Lu Zhou Do you care about my marriage with Jiang Lin? 
Have you ever cared about me? If you care, why are you still marrying Jiang Lin? You... I... Do you like... Take a good rest. Bye. What did the injured person say? They definitely want the compensation. The more, the better. Medical expenses for all injured individuals issued by Chengchuan Group, plus a portion of recuperation expenses. That's it. If they continue to cause trouble, just let them go. Do you really want to do this? That's it. Mr. Lu, doing business is to seek success in whatever means. Perhaps one day you will agree with me. Could it be Liu Cheng doing the tricks? It's so late. He should be sleeping now. But he clearly answered Xia Yan's phone call. How could he care I call him or not? It's so late. She should be sleeping now. Yeah. How could she possibly wait for me to call her? What's up? Why haven't you slept yet? You called me to inquire about this? No, it's just... I'm curious. You took a phone call today and left. I just want to ask. There was a problem with the project in Besa. Something happened in Besa? Yeah. But it's okay. I can solve it. But didn't you answer Miss Xia's call? I thought you two went to date. So you called me this time. Just think what's going to happen. No. I am your assistant. Shouldn't I care about my boss? So, do I still have to thank our assistant by? Well, you can't always be greedy. The most taboo thing is wanting one thing, but also looking at other thing. You're just one of his assistants. From now on, I don't want to hear anything. But your relationship and scandal with Zhao He. You're welcome. This is my responsibility. Mm, that's okay. Bye. It was the bitch by who killed our child. How dare you even marry her? Zhao Ling, are you still human? Zhao Liu, please calm down. Calm down. You just had a miscarriage. You can't be angry. Listen to me. When Bai Pu's mom was alive, she left me a property. But the premise is that I have to marry Bai Pu. After getting married, this property can be named after me. What? And it wasn't me who saved her mother. It's my uncle. He rushed back to the company for business. That's why I went to the hospital. When auntie woke up, she saw that it was me. She thought I saved her. That's why we decided on my wedding with Bai Pu. So please believe me, okay? I also want to avenge our child. I also have some difficulties. I will trust you for the last time. I will help you get the property. Did mom really leave a gift? But why can't I find any information? Did Jiang Lin lie to me? Well, I need to look for it somewhere else. What if mom really leaves something for me? Assistant oh, Bai, you're back finally! Long time no see, Lily. Miss Xia has also come to Chengchuan now. You mean Xia Yan? How could she be here? That is... That's a new employee in the company. Could it be that grandpa arranged to spy? Oh, by the way, Assistant Bai, Mr. Lu called from that line. You should go to the CEO's office after you arrived. He gets some new plans for you. I'll be there in a minute. Mr. Lu, are you looking for me? You look good. You had a good rest. 
Are there any new work arrangements? Well, there will be a project discussion meeting in Bayside this afternoon. You go tell the department directors to attend. As for you, do not participate in the affairs of Beisa and Yunshan recently. Why? This is order. But Miss Xiao has come to Chuncheon. That incident in Beisa is very serious. Why don't you let me participate? She was just seconded from Songli, just for one month. Why do you really mind? I just care whether I get fired or not. If you don't obey orders, there is indeed possibility of being fired. Got it. I'll go out to work. Where do you live after moving out of Jiang Ling's apartment? I have my own apartment. I stayed there after discharge. It's strange. Why did he ask this? Mew, if the incident in Beisa is really done by Luo Chen, he will never give up. Take care of yourself. What's wrong? Can you come to my apartment now? What happened? There's blood on my mirror at home. I'm coming right now. Baipu. I'll take you away. I'm so scared. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Don't go. Okay, I'm not leaving. I'll be with you. Luo Chen, if you did all of this, I will never let you go. You, don't argue with me only when you're asleep. Baipu, are you over me? Why will you marry Jiang Lin? So what are we now? If you insist on playing this game with me, then I will definitely lose. Why do you always frown? I have felt more than once. If only it weren't Jiang Lin who saved my mother. If my mother hadn't get me engaged to Jiang Lin. If only you liked me too. But Grandpa Lu has already warned me. If I still want to stay in Jiangcheng, I have to compromise. I can't have a chance to be with you. This is my destiny. What's the matter? Last night, someone uploaded the company's confidential documents for the Beisa project online. This one night, all companies in the industry have already had one. What are you talking about? Someone anonymously reported that you were a spy for the company. It was you who intentionally leaked the confidential company documents. If Bai Pu hadn't been called into the office last night, I wouldn't have a chance to use ink to reproduce her keys. Bai Pu, I will see how you are going to explain this time. How could it be me? Why can't it be you? The project documents of Beisa are confidential to the company. Only you and Mr. Lu have it in the whole company. Since it's not Mr. Lu, it can only be you. I think the police should arrest you. I think someone's looking for scapegoat here. Stealing trade secrets is a criminal act. It's not just your empty words can be believed. Don't make an unfounded attack. I need to approve it, right? I'll show you the background of this sex stop. Do you dare to say it's not yours? The cabinets and drawers are locked, except for you who can open it. Assistant Bai. This matter is extraordinary. As Lily said, this is a criminal act. I had an administration call the police this morning. I believe that you're innocent. I just hope Miss Bai can cooperate with the police investigation for the sake of company. Miss Bai, please come with us. It's not me. Why are you arresting me? Why should I go? My company. My people, when is it for outsiders to make the decisions? Sorry sir, for this situation, we haven't fully investigated yet. The so-called reporting personnel, she's not even an internal member of our company, so she's not even qualified to turn to the police for Cheng Chuan. 
However, but our company showed up, a leak of secret. We do need the police and legal aid. Lily, go and file a case with the police. Okay. The secret was not leaked by me. I will definitely find out. Retrieve the surveillance footage after work. Okay, Mr. Lu. Why do you come I here? said I would investigate myself. So many people in the company are waiting for the result. I will result. investigate this matter thoroughly. You don't want me to check, is it because... Mr. Lu, I can't find any surveillance videos these past few days. What's going on? I just contacted the administrator of the building. It was during maintenance. How could it be so coincidental? Just these few days for maintenance. Do you believe me? You still believe Shayan's words, right? You go out first. Okay. I will investigate this matter thoroughly. Believe me. Just wait for a couple of days. I don't need your help. I'll figure out myself. Do you forget about what I said in the bathroom before? I asked you to protect yourself. You just don't listen! Do you know the reason that I only wear long sleeves after I come back? Because I don't have a good time these years. He often conducted domestic violence, not just on my hands. There are also scars on my back and legs. I'm only safe with you here because he knows this is your territory. He dare not do anything to me. You come to Chengchuan. It is okay to second it to work here. However, you can only stay here for one month. Xiaoyan, what exactly is the purpose of coming back? Help me check Xia Yan's recent call records. If there is any deletion, find it out together. Don't think that you have had affairs with Mr. Lu and everything is fine. Leaking commercial secrets, even if he's Mr. Lu, he cannot help you either. You bitch, you dare to step me. Regardless of whether what you say is true or not, if I am his lover, it's okay to teach you a lesson. Don't be too arrogant. Whether I'm arrogant or not, you're not qualified to comment. If you really want to talk about this, put the evidence out. Zhao He. Xiaoyan, come to my office. Lu Zhao He, don't you believe me either? It's you that found Luo Cheng, and he paid off your ex-husband to expose. What are you talking about, Zhao He? I don't understand. See this yourself. No, Zhao He, it's not what you think. I looked for Luo Cheng. Because you turned to Yun Sheng, right? You can explain it to the police. According to the survey, Xiaoyu has been suspected of stealing commercial secrets. Please come with us. No, Zhao He, you can't do this to me. Come here. I'm sorry. I don't tell you in advance, because I don't want to act rashly and alert the enemy. I've already told you more than once. I don't want to see you are involved in the war between Cheng Chuan and Yun Sheng. As listen by the flower sent by your boyfriend, you need to sign for it. Hey, assistant by someone sent a bunch of flowers to you. Here you are. Jiang Lin again. Why are you bound to marry him? Did your mother force you to do so? Because he saved my mother's life. He saved your mother's life. Anyway, I will definitely marry him. The wedding is less than a month away. Don't stare at me. Get on with your business. Hello, Pu Tao. Have you received the flower? Yes. Tomorrow, we will try on wedding clothes. You remember? Sure. I will not forget it. Come with me. Lu Zhao He, get off me! You live with me, but you will marry Jiang Lin soon. Do you want to get married from here? Master, Miss Bai lives with Mr. Lu. Of course I will, as long as you don't mind this. Don't enrage me! You said Jiang Lin saved your mother? When? Where? It's none of your business. Fine. Then let's do something related to me. Zhao He, get off me! Bai Pu. 
Look at what you look like now. I can't believe that you're interested in flirting with a female colleague in the company. Aren't you afraid of being discovered? I don't care. So what? Are you crazy? Scared? Aren't you afraid of anything? Jesus, I can't believe that Mr. Lu has been conquered by a sister by and and kissed her at the company. Luo Cheng, last time you played dirty against me. Some people will pay for your extravagant behavior. They are your sister Luo Ujuan. As well as Xia Ya. If you do it again, I promise that you will pay the cost. Mr. Lu, last time I failed. But it doesn't mean I will be unsuccessful next time. Everyone has someone and something he cares about, right? Next time, maybe you will not be so lucky. What the hell are you going to do? Very simple. I just want base a project. If you disagree, I will be hanging around you until you change your mind. Putao. Why did you come here? To pick you up from work. Putao. I have heard about the secret. Where did you hear about it? Yesterday, I came back home and heard it from my grandpa and relatives. Grandpa sent someone to spy on me in Zhengchuan. At first, they wronged you. Putao, we will marry in twenty days. You'd better resign. It was not my fault. Why should I quit? I didn't mean that. We will marry sooner or later, and then we will definitely have a baby. You, can you just stay at home? You can count on me. <laughs> stop the car. What? I said stop the car. Bai Pu, why do you get mad? It was for your own good, so I asked you to quit. Shit! What bastard did this? I thought you were dating with your fiance. You have got his clothes dirty. How could I have a moment with him? What? Did I mess up his clothes? I don't remember this. Don't you dare say that you're not on purpose to do so. I never did it. Why should I admit? Why did you deny messing up Jiang Lin's clothes on purpose? Bai Pu, what do you want me to admit? To admit that I was jealous? To admit I saw you two walking on the street, which made me unhappy, right? I am not so bored. Besides, you will marry Jiang Lin, won't you? So the topic we are talking about is meaningless. Yes, you're right. I have broken the rules. Bai Pu, are you sure to marry Jiang Lin? Of course I will. Is it because he saved your mother's life? Yes. Not persuasive. Besides, it has nothing to do with you. Fine. Enough. I deserved it. I'm so blind to fall in love with you, but you can't do this to my daughter. Are you okay? Hey, Jiang Lin, there's something urgent in the company. Please come to the hospital to help me look after a lady. No problem, uncle. Is it because that matter leads to the engagement of you and Jiang Lin? Um, my wedding will be held in two weeks. I hope that all of you can come. Congratulations. Assistant Bai, will you get married indeed? Of course. She's going to marry Jiang Lin, so is she just for fun getting together with Mr. Liu? Mr. Liu, I will try on wedding dresses later. I want to apply for a half day leave. Mr. Liu? Half day off? No problem. Go ahead. Bai Pu. I won't let you and Jiang Lin successfully exchange your vows. Spit it out. Your assistant and Jiang Lin are trying on wedding clothes now. Mr. Lu, are you interested in coming here? Where? It's unexpected, Mr. Lu. I was doubtful for the way you treated Xia Yan. You and Pu Tao are really having an affair. She's going to get married. Why are you still missing her? Cut the crap. 
Send the address to me right now. Yo, you got it so fast. You're not in a hurry to work, are you? Why did you rush to be someone's home record, Mr. Lowe? They has been targeting Baipu recently. I'm afraid her life may be in danger. And remind her for several times. Lo Cheng to threaten you with Baipu? Yes. You're such a boy. That was a real effort. Get away. Didn't I say that Luo Cheng found out you care about Baipu and like Baipu? That's why they take Baipu as your weakness to threaten you. Ah, did she know? Wasn't that reason enough? For he saved my mother? And what does it have to do with you? Oh, she is just a heartless and superculous wolf. Baipu, if you marry him for Jiang Lin once saved your mother's life, then why not me? Check the admission records of a woman named Zhang Yu about seven years ago at the city hospital. Let me know as soon as you find any information. What are you doing? I need to figure something out. Alas, calm down. Bai Pu will not marry Jiang Lin. If that's the case, I've never seen anyone rob a wife from his nephew before. He's not a real member in Lu family. Well, he's half a member at least. Even if his mother was adopted by Lu family, he doesn't deserve it. I'm trying on the wedding clothes with Bai Pu. I looked all over the house, but didn't see what you said about the bitch Jiang Yu left behind, not to mention that transfer form for you. What about looking again? I don't think her mother could have lied to me. Jiang Li, you swear when you get that legacy, you will gonna get a divorce from Bai Pu at the first time. Why did you say that again? I want you to swear. All right, I swear. When I get the legacy, I will divorce Bai Pu and marry you. And then we can be together forever. So, Jiang Li wants to marry me for trying to get my mother's legacy. He said mom left me a gift just to persuade me to finish the wedding. <sighs> Bai Pu, these years... You have wasted so much time on this man. Only two more weeks. I have to find that legacy. Baipu. What are you doing here? Baipu. What are you doing here? Curiously, I just wanted to check it out. The wedding dress of my nephew's fiancée fit or not. So why did you get to the fitting room? It seems that I haven't seen it before. By the way, I'm not sure if you could wear the wedding dress, walk into the auditorium. What does it mean? Didn't you hear what he said just now? You're still going to marry him? You heard it? Yep. Why do you have to marry him? What do you want me to admit? To admit I'm jealous? And that I'm not really happy? When I see you are walking down the street, right? And aren't you going to marry Jiang Lin? It's meaningless for us to talk about it now. Why do you care so much about my marriage to Jiang Li? If I'm not going to marry him, what can I change? Even if I don't marry Jiang Li, there's also no chance to be with you. Is there? Bu Tao, are you ready? What took you so long? I'm coming. I'm going out. Bai Pu. That year your mother was in the hospital. It was Jiang Lin who went through the hospitalization procedures. But I took her to the hospital from Bai family myself. Did Jiang Lin deceive me about all these just for the legacy which my mom left behind? Impossible. Pu Tao, are you okay? Right now. I'll find out for myself. Who mom left me should be at home. Where is the transfer form? The date of it was my birthday, also of our wedding. Jiang Li, you are more shameless than I thought. What are you doing? I told you so. Your mother's things were unlucky. So, I burned something for her on a good day, then she can enjoy herself in the hell. How dare you touch my mom's things? Dare to slap her, Bai Pu? You caused her to lose her child. I haven't found you to pay for it. Tell me, were you the one who saved my mom? What did you ask about it? Answer me! I didn't remember for so many years. You weren't the guy who saved my mom at all. It was Lu Zhaohe. Now I know. 
everything between us. It's a false. A scam! Haven't you figured it out yet, Mr. Lu? Don't think about BASA project at all. Mr. Lu, you have to choose one. BASA project or buy poo. You're crazy. Well, there's no comparison of a woman about to be married in a billion BASA project. Well, let me help you. <laughs> if she dies, she's not gonna be your nominal nephew's wife. And you won't lose a billion dollars of BASA project because of Baipu. Kill two birds with one stone. I tell you, you'll never see the sun again if you lay a finger on her. Bye, Paul. She has already dead. You're still wondering who saved your mother? What's the point in keeping these things? Hu Tao, Xiao Liu is right. A dead man cannot live again. It only adds to the sadness when you keep these things. It's better than fire. Burning Shut up! Them. How innocent do you think your mother is? I tell you, your mother is just a mistress. You are just an illegitimate daughter of a mistress. Weren't you satisfied that you could occupy Zhang Li for so many years? Bai Liu, do you know how disgusting what your parents did? I'll tell you if you don't know. Your father cheated during pregnancy of your mother, and your mother fooled my mom around by hook or by crook in order to stabilize your father. Your mother sent the mistress you thought to your father's bed, so... No. The mistress, you thought, and I, the bastard, are the biggest victims. Stop it. Why do you think Zhang Lin would be with you if it weren't for the state your mother left behind? Enough. She killed our baby with her own hands. There's no way I'm going to let it go. Well, your mother embroidered it herself. She gave it to my mom before she died. And said it was a wedding present for you. Alas, it's like two Mandarin dogs playing in water. How's that? Do you want to see it? But what a pity. There's no chance. No! Anchor chief is gone. It's all gone. Everything will get back on track. I think you were out with some guy last night, right? Back then, I wasn't the one who saved her mother. It was uncle. It was a mistake. All a mistake. The BASA project and the woman Baipu. You have to choose one, Mr. Lu. I'm gonna protect you. Pu Tao, we've been together for so many years for the sake of our relationship. Can you marry me in peace? It's my fault for burning auntie's belongings. But it's useless to keep them, isn't it? Tell me, you're still acting. Is that interesting? But if you want to play, I'll play along. Fine. The wedding will be held as scheduled. I must pay you back for all the humiliation I've suffered. In the back cabinet, there are some USB drives and evidence. You will have a hard work at the ceremony. Look what you said. I've been waiting for this. I'll go backstage and get ready. It's time to put an end to this. Bye, Pooh. Don't go. I'm gonna end this, and it's time to end it. You want revenge? I can help you. Why should you? I should go in.
Mr. Lu, are you single? Grandpa, isn't Uncle not married yet? Zhang Ling and I get married before Uncle. Isn't it inappropriate? Hello, Uncle. Zhang Ling and I are in room thirty-two oh six at the hotel. Can you come and take me away? So, Bai Bu, in your mind, I'm just a tool for fun. Mr. Lu, are you explaining to me? I don't think so. After all, I don't have the right to care. Would you flirt with a man you don't have a relationship with? Let's end it. I like her. Jaho, stop caring about me. I can't stop myself from loving you. Lu Jaho, thank you for letting me know that someone can really go out of their way to be good to me. Maybe Mom was right. That person really exists. Calm down. How do you expect me to calm down? Today, in the presence of all the guests, the newlyweds will make their once-in-a-lifetime love vows to each other. Bride by Pooh. Do you want to be married to the man in front of you? For poorer or for richer, in health and in sickness, whether he is young or old, to always love him and never to leave him. For the rest of your life, would you? No. I don't. What did you say? Today, I have a gift for you, and you, my dear sister. You too. Cheat on me for a long time. You think I don't know? I know exactly why you marry me. It's just a pity that the inheritance you wanted has been destroyed by me. Therefore, there is no need for this marriage. You've done a lot for your daughter, by the way, right? She's just what you call a mistress now. You're taking nonsense. You bastard! Aren't you ashamed enough? Somebody come. Catch her for me. She's crazy. No way. It's impossible. You're the one who screwed me up. You killed my baby. Why don't you go to hell? I'll strangle you. Ah, tell me. Get out. An illegitimate daughter like you deserve to be a low and despised person. You know what? Why did your mother give me that inheritance? Just because she was afraid no one would marry you. Don't be ungrateful. Who would marry you except me? I will marry her. Shut up! Why do I shut up? Why do I just watch him and those people who have no scruples about humiliating Baipu? Why? Don't you think you should care the decent of Lu family? Dad, I do care the decent of Lu family. But Jiang Lin, the person who has no blood ties with us, doesn't care the decent of Lu family. Go! Go get them back! Lu Zhaohe, Grandpa is waiting for you. It's over between you and Jiang Lin. Why do you still call him Grandpa? May I ask you again one last time? Are you willing to elope with me? Where can I go? And where can we go? I can. Sir, Master asks you to come back. Baipu is the one who broke the marriage contract. She loped with another man in the wedding. I'm the victim. She betrayed me. I am the victim. Shut up. If you cause trouble again, the shares of the company will have nothing to do with you. Zhang Ling, stand up, Zhang Ling. Zhang Ling. You asshole! How could you treat Zhao Liu this way? I tell you what, if you're driven by Lu family, you should break up with Zhao Liu. You ruined yourself. It's not a big deal, but you make Bai family in trouble. You are damn not even a member of Lu family. If I knew, I wouldn't let Xiao Liu be with you. 
Fuck off. You guys are waiting. I will take my revenge. Miss Bai, Master asks me to remind you that don't forget your appointment with him. Grandpa Lu must be mad at what happened today. Lu Zhao is the heir of Lu family. He can't decide his marriage. What appointment? Lu Zhao, thank you for loving me. It's just the time to wake up. Go back home. Sir, please. How ridiculous you are! Look at yourself! You forgot yourself at the wedding! It's not my fault. You don't admit your fault! No, it's not my fault. It's Jiang Lin's fault. So you can be with Bai Pu? We are. Stop saying that! You are not together! What you are thinking now, I'm very clear. I tell you. I don't agree! Dad, it's my affection. Do I need your agreement? So, you want to be together with your nephew's fiance? What the hell? What about the descent of Lu family? But Jiang Lin is together with his fiance's elder sister. Doesn't he disgrace Lu family? His last name is not Lu. You're different. You're the heir of Lu family. If you have to be so stubborn, I have a thousand ways to make you can't meet with her. Of course. If you want to keep her living in Chengchuan, You'd better give yourselves a little distance. You think I will listen to you? You can try to challenge me. Congratulations, Assistant Pai. Hard work finally paid off. Everyone at the office knew it. Mr. Lu almost took you away from the wedding. They all knew? I heard Mr. Lu stood there with Goss and shouted, I will marry her. Imagine how charming he was! Good news never goes beyond the gate while well, bad news spreads far and wide. Where is Grandpa Lu's spy? Good morning, Mr. Du. Uh, good morning, Mr. Du. Come in. Mr. Du, Beisa sent this to us, the report about exploitation of the first raw materials. Do you have anything else to say? What? What was the appointment about on that day? I... Excuse me, Mr. Lu and Assistant Bai. Bad news from Beza. Bad news. There was an excavator malfunctioned and killed a worker on the site. The family of that worker is still at the hospital. Try comforting them. As for the project site, block the site and keep it under constant surveillance. Nobody is allowed in or out. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Mr. Lu, are you satisfied with the surprise? It's you. You weren't gonna opt out. I had no choice. I had to take it over on my own. After Cheng Chuan took the base up project, the project's been screwed up multiple times. You tell me how long it's gonna last? You chose to take risk of others' lives. For profits! Is it your attitude of doing business? Mr. Lu, don't forget. Your punch is still on my revenge list. Well, wait and see. I'll send you to jail to stay with your sister. Is it Lo Cheng again? Let's report to the cop. Right after the accident came up, Ace had already called the cops. We gotta wait for the investigation results. I'll be with you. Always. Thank you. Shelly, <laughs> all because of Bai Pu. Would my family have to suffer all the blames? My parents have to face all judgments when they come outdoors. As for me, people scoff me for being a maid poucher. The only one who should disappear from the world is Bai Pu! Why is everyone scolding us? Tell me! You're such a jinx! <laughs> Tell me, say something! Everyone knows the things about us and the Lu family! Don't ever mention Lu family. They didn't regard me as their family at all. They treat me as a pet dog that they can throw away at any time. And our baby! Yes, you're right. 
Baipu killed our baby. Baipu. That bitch screwed it up. I'm gonna sabotage her reputation. I'm going back to Lu family. If I lose dead shares of the group, I will have nothing left. You stay in this hotel room. I'm going to the project site. I'll be back soon. Why don't you let me go there? You shouldn't go. I'm worried if Luo Cheng has any conspirators in Besa. It's safe for you to stay at the hotel. Lu Dahe! This Besa accident was so abnormal. Luo Cheng even took the risk of others' lives just to target Lu Zhaohe. Now Lu Zhaohe is going to the project site. Will he be targeted by Luo Cheng's conspirator? No. I gotta go there too. Mr. Lu, when we were working there, that excavator fell off suddenly and hit my brother. Excuse me. Lu Zhaohe, be cautious. Your lover is in my hands. What did you do to Baipu? Don't you dare hurt her. Mr. Lu, I didn't expect to fend off you like this, but you went too far. You called the police. You nuts. I gave you options. Either base or her. You could choose one, but now, you'll fucking get neither. Luo Cheng. You have the chance to see her for the last time in half an hour. I'm warning you, I've got evidence to the cop right away. If you want to survive, let Baipu go. You, Luo Cheng. Lu Zhaohei chose base over you. How do you feel? Are you sad? <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> it's a waste to kill you. I should let my bodies enjoy you. I tell you what, they are not gentlemen. Miss Bai, enjoy your fucking time. <laughs> STAY AWAY FROM ME! STAY AWAY FROM ME! I regret. I regret that I didn't tell you how much I love you. Baipu, wait for me. Don't touch me! Baipu! Are you okay? Lose your hair. What's up? You don't go. You don't go. Police, go. Somebody help. Oh, goodness. You're fine. Help, please. Help. You're awake? Thank God! You have been in a coma for three days. Three days? What about Lu Zhaohe? Is he awake? He... he is still in a coma. He had a brain injury, and I don't know when he will awake. Can you take me to see him? When will you wake up? It's all my fault. If I did, that's what you said. Just stay at the hotel. You would not hurt so badly. Well, Lord Chang has been arrested. Wake up, please. I have so much to say to you. Uh, 
Grandpa Lou. Bye, Pooh. Because of saving you, Zhao Hei almost lost his life. You should understand that for him, your love is burdened. You know there's such a large gap between your identity. What's more, you were the ex-fiancé of Jiang Lin. So for Zhao He, your love cannot give him any benefits. Zhao He is my only child. I hope that he wouldn't lose his mind because of a woman. But Bai Pu, if you miss him, you will never meet a man who can use his life to protect you. Grandpa, I know what you mean, but anyway, he saved me. I want to take care of him till he wake up, you know? Well, Miss Bai, I'd like to believe you. But I hope you can do us what you said. After you awake, if you also don't want to see me anymore, I will disappear from your life. Grandpa, here you are. Well, I heard you went to see my brother-in-law in the hospital. How is he doing? It's still the same. My brother-in-law is in hospital in a coma. And the doctor says he doesn't know when he'll wake up. Now is the best time to ruin the reputation of Bai Pu. Don't you still have low group stairs? You go to your grandfather while your uncle is still in a coma, and then take the opportunity to enter Cheng Chuan group. Drive Bai Pu out of Cheng Chuan for me. I'll see who else can support her this time. I heard that during the period when my uncle was injured, Cheng Chuan group was panicked. I'm also aware of my mistakes. Wondering if you can give me a chance to study and exercise in Cheng Chuan group so as to make up for the damage caused to Lu family before. Do you really want to study and exercise in Cheng Chuan group? Or do you want to avenge yourself? Grandpa, I really know I was wrong. I'm trying to share the burden. For you and uncle, I wonder if you can give me a chance. As long as uncle's not here, Cheng Chuan group won't be stable. It has an impact on the development of the company. That's true. Well, tomorrow you can join Cheng Chuan group. Okay. Thank you, Grandpa. Zhao when will you wake up? Do you know that your rumors have been flying all over the company? If you don't wake up, the company will run out of people. Assistant Bai, Jiang Ling came to the company today as acting general manager. Jiang Ling? Why are you in Cheng Chuan Group? My uncle is in a coma in the hospital. As a member of the Lu family, what's wrong with me coming to the company? Jiang Lin. In one minute, convene a board of directors. If you have anything to say, say it at the board meeting. Assistant Bai. Early this morning, a senior official told me that our group received an anonymous report letter saying that Bai Pu's personal life was chaotic. Assistant Bai, say something if you want to know what happened. You can read this letter which explains in detail how Bai Pu became Mr. Lu's personal assistant. Why can't you explain it? A woman like you can sell her body to get to the top has no right being in Cheng Chuan group. Watch your mouth. If there are no comments from the board, I think Assistant Bai, you can pack your things and get out of here. 
I'd like to see who's going to fire my woman. I'd like to see who's going to fire my woman. Uncle? My dad said you've come to study in Chengchuan. I think you're clearly here to make trouble. I'm doing this for the good of the company. For the good of the company. Cheng Chuan Group wants people who can work, who are capable. Why don't we want them? Even if assistant Bai did seduce me, it's not directly related to her work ability. Does he even know what he's saying? On the contrary, since I have come back now, I think you can give up the position of acting general manager. All of you today, after walking out of this door, I don't want to hear any rumors about assistant by. Finished. Come to my office. Luo Cheng has been detained. We may need to get some new evidence. How do you... The first thing you said to me was about Luo Cheng. Well, when did you wake up? How did you end up at the office? I woke up last night. I heard the Jiang Lin's coming to the company. I'm in a hurry to get here. Because of me? What else? Otherwise, how do you think I could have come back to support you despite the doctor's objection? Mr. Lu, Detective Wong has called, and he'll meet you at the police station at 2.30 p.m. The crime of Luo Cheng is not just stealing trade secrets. The event of Basel workers was also manipulated by him. He deserves more punishment. Mr. Lu, we will review the evidence you provide, but now Luo Cheng is still in detention. After this period, we will arrest him officially. Thank you. It doesn't matter. Let's go. After returning to the company first, we should make a compensation plan for the family of Basel workers and find a proper way to resolve it. I find that the dead worker has a wife and two children. The elder child is in middle school. I think we should offer them job opportunity in the local and give children better conditions to go to school. Okay. Hand over these to Lily after returning to the company. Baipu, I saved you. Is there any reward you want to offer me? You should know that there's a big gap between you two. The most important thing is that you are the fiancé of Jiang Lin. So as for Lu Zhaohe, you can't bring him any benefit. He is my only child. So I don't hope he loses his mind for a woman. I promised Grandpa Lu after you wake. You would leave me and leave Jiang City when I wake, right? I think I can decide who I love. On the way to save you, I have regretted so many times for my duplicity. Later, come back to my father's with me. Okay. You don't need to say anything when you see my father. If he says something serious, I will accept all his punishment. Will he punish you? You're the only son of him. His temper is so bad, he hits anyone when he feels angry. Let's go. Dad? You dare to come back home? You think what I told you is nonsense? You dare to bring her back? Dad, I bring Bai Pu back, just because I want you to know my choice. If you don't like her, we will never come back here. You think you are right? Anybody here, give me the whip. It doesn't matter. Kneel down. Kneel down. Today, I will show our ancestors what a bad guy I bring to the world.
okay. Now you have punished me. But I will never change my mind. You get out. Get out. Do you feel painful? I'm fine. This is the first time that I see him hit someone. I didn't expect that he's so ruthless. He's always like that. Just let him hit me. Then we will not be angry. After I awake, you told me that you would leave me. Do you know? When you were in coma, I was thinking, if you say that you don't want to see me anymore, I will disappear from your world. How about now? You still want to leave me? It's so hard to hear a nice answer from you. I don't understand. If you say I want to, so I want to. If you say I don't want to, so now I Now that you are so obedient, I ask you for your household register. Will you give me? She is an illegitimate daughter. This kind of people absolutely ruin our social mode. What happened? He's telling rumors about you. Come here. If you have something unsatisfactory, you can tell me directly. I don't think telling rumors about me is gentleman's behavior. I don't think I'm telling rumors. Aren't you an illegitimate daughter of my family? Don't you make your sister have an abortion? You are totally bad. You are not loyal to your client. You are not loyal to your fiancé. You always seduce these rich men. I'm not loyal to you. You can't recall that how many women have affairs with you. I didn't talk it in public because I don't want to ruin your fame, but you don't accept my kindness. Baipu, don't pretend to be innocent. I tell you, don't pretend. I didn't pretend. Say again. I say don't pretend. Are you fine? You think this is funny? If you want to have some fun, you can go home. This is my place. By the way, you don't have the right to talk about my woman. I knew you two have an affair a long time ago. Now, you still don't want to admit that you betrayed I me? I want to ask you, when did you make love with Bai Liu? And who was the father of her baby? Now you pretend that you are a victim. Don't you think it is shameless? Now you have get the result you expect and Cheng Chuan get out. Uncle, stop. If you say more words, you are not allowed to go back to Lupin. What are you looking at? Do your work! And you don't have the right to talk to my woman. Why do you say that? What? You know what I'm talking about. If I don't say that, we will be just like colleagues forever. I don't think it's unacceptable. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> wow, you're so obedient to me. Then, give me your household register. I don't know what you're talking about. You forgot? So I repeat again. Miss Bai, when will you steal your household register out so we can get married? It's so casual. You even don't make a proposal to me. I don't agree. Ah! Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> hey, Assistant Bai, can you tell me what are you talking about in his office? What's the relationship between you two? You can ask Mr. Lu. Wait for me after work. We can go back home together. Okay. Mr. Lu, can I ask the relationship between you and Assistant Bai? We will get married soon. Ah, uh, what? What? Really? You will get married soon? You're getting married! Oh, best wishes! Grandpa! I allowed you to Chang Chuan group because I had hoped you can learn something useful. But you made so many troubles. Think about what you have done. 
Grandpa, I realized I did something wrong. I really realized. Now it's late. How can you tell others the bad things of our family in person? I was deceived by Bai Pu. I felt angry, so I wanted to use this way to ruin Bai Pu. Shameless! Aren't you the father of her sisters, baby? Aren't you the one who almost killed Bai Pu? I haven't punished you yet. If I don't have the share of the Cheng Chuan group, I will be a total loser. Grandpa, I have realized my fault. Really? I will never make this kind of mistake again. I beg you, I will never I do it again. I sent you to Cheng Chuan group because I wanted to see your potential. But you are indifferent to work. In this case, I will withdraw your shares. Don't complain. Get out. Get out! Did Lu Xiaohe really announce to the company that he is marrying Bai Pu? It only hurt him with his own ears. How can it be fake? Tell me, can you and Jiang Lin wait after getting married? You screw up everything. Well, our family is ashamed to face anyone. How can I walk out of this house? Do you think I don't suffer when I was pointed out at and screwed by others every day? Mom! Oh, there, there. You can't count this mess on Xiao Liu. Yes, Mom. It's you who slept around and caused so much trouble. Without Bai Pu, there won't be so much trouble. You! It's okay, it's okay, baby. Why did you bring me here? You just stand still and listen to me. You're so weird tonight. Am I? Yeah. Can you close your eyes? I'm a bit nervous. I have so much to tell you. Come on, close your eyes. From the first time, by the door of Jiang Lin's room, you kissed me and seduced me with the strength of wine. I was thinking that this woman must be crazy. You were a totally different person than you were at work, you know? For several times, I wondered if it was just a fling. But every time we looked at each other, I felt the feeling between us was true. I asked myself several times, why couldn't I leave? Then I found my answer. What is it? The answer is... The answer is, you love me. Will you marry me? You haven't said your answer. The size is exactly right. From now on, you belong to me.